okay, quick check-in, start monitoring your internal conversations that can either make or break you right now. And some of you are saying, Lynette, I am really trying. I'm trying so hard and it's just not working or I'm not seeing results. Hey, I'm not here to tell you that you're not trying. What I'm trying to tell you is that you're not persisting. Stay loyal and locked into your scene. Go into the imagination. You're creating a mind movie. And the way that you know that you're doing this correctly is that you're not watching the movie as an observer. You're the actor, you're the director, and you're the producer, meaning you're in the movie. So let's just say, for example, you want your dream car, okay? You have a dream car that you desire, that you really, really want, but you're not imagining the car from afar. You're not thinking of the car. Honey, you are in the car, so you're thinking from it. If you study Neville Goddard, he'll tell you this. You think from it, not of it. So imagine yourself behind the wheel of the car. Feel the leather of the steering wheel. Engage all your imaginal senses. You can smell the leather. You can hear the engine roar. You can feel the speed of the car. You can, you're just engaging all your imaginal senses. Vividly imagine your scene in your mind movie in your mind over and over and over and over and over. You're persisting and staying loyal and locked into that scene until you've convinced yourself that you already have it. You go into the subjective faculty and create the imaginal scene as if it's already done. That's the secret. And when you've done it so many times, it just becomes so natural for you. That's how you saturate your entire subjective faculty with your desire. So again, I'm not saying that you haven't tried. I'm just saying that you haven't persisted. Stay loyal to, and locked in to your desire as if it's already done and think from it, not of it.